Okay, again, this is part of a series. This is video two in this series, working with the Wenzhou IP cam. And uh, we have a root shell through Telnet. We've changed the password, and we've also copied over a fuller version of BusyBox so that we have some tools, such as NetCat, that we're going to be using today to uh, just give us more functionality. Uh, so what we're going to do is, you know, before we make any changes, we might want to back some stuff up. So I'm going to show you how to back up a partition uh, to your desktop so that not only do you have a backup that you can clone back over later on, but you can also, uh, you know, um, mount it. I'm saying that with little quotation marks here. Uh, mount the image, because we're not really going to mount the image, you'll see in a minute. Uh, so that you can look at the files and look through them on your desktop and play around with them and not have to really worry too much about messing up on the device. Also, if you make a lot of changes uh, to the device, you might want to make an image backup. So we're going to do that. On the top here, I have my screen split. On the top is my desktop. On the bottom is uh, the camera itself. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to type in mount on the camera to see what is mounted. And we can see here that our main file system is on device uh, MTD block 6. So that's the partition we're going to work with today. We're going to back that up. It's, it's the main file system. Uh, we can see that it's a JFFS2. And uh, we're, you know, like I said, we're going to um, clone that over to our desktop. So now that we have a busy box, a full version, if you remember from the last tutorial, we have it inside our temp folder. I can say temp busy box to make sure we're running the full version, because if I just type BusyBox, it's not going to have Netcat in it. So now that I have that, I'm going to say NC for Netcat, dash L for Listen, dash P for Port. I'm going to pick a port, a higher range port, so that I know that I have permission for it. I'll say 6000. And we're going to redirect. Remember, this is Linux running on this device, and everything on a Unix and Unix-based system, such as Linux, everything, all hardware, is accessible as if it was a file. And in this case, device uh, MTD block 6, as we saw when we ran the mount command, is the file or the partition that we want to copy over. So I'll hit enter, and right now it's waiting, the camera is waiting for something to connect to it, and then it's going to pipe that entire partition over the network. So up on my desktop here, I'm going to type in NC, because I have Netcat installed here, the full version, not just the BusyBox version. Uh, the IP address of my webcam, so that may vary for you. The port, so 6000, and we're going to put the output of that into a file. I'm going to call it system since it's the system partition. I'll call it that IMG. The extension doesn't, really, the file name doesn't really matter at all. That's just so that we know. We'll hit enter, and it will take a few seconds. I'm going to tell you right now, this partition on this particular device is three megabytes. So let's go ahead and list out the files as it's finished, and you can see right here that we have an image and it's three megabytes. I'm going to go ahead and make my desktop full screen. We're not going to worry about the camera for right now. So we have this image on our desktop of the partition from the camera. I can do file on that system file, and we can see right here that it is a Linux JFS JFFS2 file system. Now, unlike a lot of file systems that we make images of, we can't just mount this image. What we need to do is we need to make a uh, block device. We'll do that. We'll make it in RAM. And then we will um, actually DD. We'll clone over the image to that fake partition that we're creating. I'll say it's a fake partition. is isn't really correct, but that's what we're going to do. And then we can mount that partition. So we can't mount the image directly as far as I know. So anyway, we're going to run some commands here. You can do this as sudo or as root. I'm just going to do it as sudo. But as long as you have permissions to run these commands, you should be good. So we're going to mod probe MTD RAM. So we're creating something in RAM. And um, I'm going to put some numbers in here for the total size and array size. I don't, I can't tell you exactly what all this means. This is just stuff I know that if I do this, it will work. Um, but basically, I think we're just partitioning part of our RAM uh, for this. I, that could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. Um, so total size and array size and all this will be in notes that are in the links in the description of this video. So we're going to run that command. No errors. That's good. Sudo and we'll say mod probe again and this time we're going to run mtd block and we'll hit enter. And now we're going to create a block device. You probably already have one labeled zero on your device. Uh, so what we can do is we can go list and you can do device oops, dev mtd block 
I don't even have to run that. You can see there's already one. You probably already have one command. And we could probably use that, but I'm going to create another one just to be sure. So I'm going to sudo and uh, mk uh, nod. I think it might be make node. I don't know. It's a little over my head. I just know that it works. Uh, so mtdb uh, block will say one. So just picking a number that's not being used. So we're using this uh, block device. We're going to create a new partition on it. And we're going to say B310. Again, this is all in the notes in the description of this video. Now that we have this partition, this empty partition sitting in our RAM, we can now clone the image that we created over. So I'm going to sudo dd. dd is the tool to clone images and partitions and hard drives. if in file, which will be our system.img. Out file, where are we going to put this information? Well, in the device we just created, um, which is mtd block one. We'll hit enter, it won't take long. It's only three megabytes. I can now make a partition right here, or I'm sorry, make a folder right here in this directory. I'll call it fs for file system. You can call it whatever you'd like. And I'll sudo mount. We need to tell it what file, what file system type it is. So t for type, jffs2. And we're going to mount the device that we just created and cloned our partition over to to fs. So sudo meaning we have higher level of permissions, meaning that we can use the mount command. We're telling it what type of file system it is. And then we're going to mount that partition that we created and just cloned our image over to. And we're going to mount it to this folder right here. Now if I list out fs, uh, ha, ha, there are our files. We can go in there, we can look through them, we can learn a lot about this system without actually being on the camera itself. Um, nice about this is my desktop is you know color coded. I have other tools that I may want to use. It just makes it easier to go through stuff. And already we can see that we have a www folder, which we can see on the camera too. So if I go in here, um, oh sorry, fs www, I can now list out all these files here. Okay, so let's go ahead back on the device down here. So desktop up here where we just cloned and mounted our image to. Uh, I can also list out our home direct or root directory here. And you can see that we do have some folders here. We don't necessarily see the www folder. That's because this is the system partition and it's mounted under system. Again, if we do mount, you can see that it's mounted here. So if we go in here, this is everything that's in that partition. Obviously, there's other parts of the system that aren't on that partition. There's multiple partitions, but this is the primary meat and potatoes of our device. It's, it's the stuff that is running. And in our next uh, video, we're actually going to look at this a little bit more, and then we're going to start customizing some of the user interfaces. So again, our, all our user interfaces are basic HTML files, which makes it very easy for us to modify them. and Again, it's very, very nice. I love any device that I can get a web interface on, making it easy to access with my desktop, laptop, tablet, phone, anything with a web browser, and I don't have to install anything, because I don't want to install anything if I don't have to on any of my devices. Um, just better security that way. So uh, that's it for this tutorial. And again, next time we're going to start looking more at how things are set up. We're going to look a little bit more at this partition, what's there, how the system, what it starts when it boots, and then after that we'll start getting into customizing the interface for the device. So be sure to check out the links in the description to the notes and the, the code and also my website which is filmsbychris.com. Chris with a K, there should be again a link in the description. And as always I hope that you have a great day. Okay, this is an introduction to filmsbychris.com. I'm Chris, that's Chris the K. That's me right there. My daughter Ember, and my wife Jennifer. We pretty much live in the swamps of Florida. I'm a firefighter by day, as well as by night. We work long hours. But that's not why you're here. You're here about the videos I put up on YouTube. These videos are mainly about computers and programming. 
which means most of my videos look something like this. And if that's what you're interested in, great. If not, that's alright. I do videos on other topics too, such as video editing, special effects, photo editing, 3D design, and music creation. If you are one of my viewers and you enjoy my videos, my Patreon page is a place where you can go to help support my videos. So I ask that you take the time to go to my Patreon page and look at the different levels of rewards you can receive for different levels of backing. There should be a link in the description of this video if you are watching it on YouTube. Otherwise, you can visit patreon.com forward slash metalx1000. And I thank you for your time and your support. Have a great day.